Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to use force fields in TechKit Classic. So what you need is you need a force field core, you need a force field EU injector, you will need a MFFS area projector, you'll need a blank card, you'll need some generators, I always use four. You'll need a condenser. I'm showing you how to make this self-sufficient pretty much today. This is my first tech tutorial. Tech it classic anyway. This is one I play almost regularly apart from FTB. I will need a Mark V no, that's Mark II, Epic Fail, sorry about that. Uh, you'll need a Mark III relay and a collector Mark III. Well, you can use any collector, but this will just make it more powerful. We need some sort of light source. If it, so, let me type in glowstone. Let me just type in G. See if I can find some glowstone. Glowstone. Okay, let me just try S T O N. So it's just to give myself four of that to make one block of the stuff. You need one for every collector you need. You have. I need some redstone. I need a toggle latch. What else do I need? Redstone. I might need some more actually. Redstone. Redstone. You can use other types of redstone, I'm just going to use normal redstone just because it's what I'm more comfortable with. There we go, that'll help. So, let's get rid of that. I'll need a block of anything, so let's just say block of stone, for instance. I'll need a wire. This is all wireless. So this is all going to be wireless. I need some. I need a transposer. I will need some pneumatic tubes. I need some glass fiber. I will need some glass fiber cable. Yep. Okay, glass fiber. What else do I need? Is that it? I don't want to forget anything. A bat box. Doesn't matter what type of bat box, really. You could use a MF. Let's just use an MFSU this time. Yeah, you can use anything. So, first, that should be it. Oh, yeah, you need a timer. Sorry, that's just something else as well. You need a timer. Done. That's pretty much it now, I think. Oh, I need a fuel source. So, for instance, coal will do for this. Okay, sorted. So, if the more of this, the more condensers and well, the more co the more collectors and relays you have, the better, because it will help speed things up. So, if I use that, you'll see that this will quite rapidly make coal. But if I get another relay V the Mark three and a collector Mark three this should again speed it up. See now it goes a bit quicker again. And that's going that would do actually. So I need two bits of glowstone. Bit more glowstone. So then I put one on here. This will give it a constant light source, pretty much. Meaning that that we should now never run out of power. Now you get a transposer. So you want it so that that bit there is facing into the con the 
condenser and you can use a screwdriver to rotate it. So you see that really small hole? You want that facing that way, so outside the condenser. Uh, the other side, so you want it facing, so the big hole is facing the condenser, the little hole is facing outwards. You also need the timer now. I'll show you where that goes in a minute. You put a bit of the piping down. I always put enough piping down to put four of those down. Let me quickly game on myself just to get rid of that. And place one down just so I don't lose it. Go away. There. So now let me put myself back. Okay. So I always have four. You can have less if you feel like it. You put the timer down and check it's working. Is it? No. Okay. Like I said, I am not very good with this. Why aren't you working? Let's replace this a second. There we go, now it's working. So you want to make sure that that dot there, the big redstone dot, is facing into the collector. Then I always take it right down to 0 0.200 seconds because then it will spin around giving us plenty of power, pretty much. Now since that's producing at a rapid rate, that will give us an infinite amount of power. This is why this will only work what I'm showing you in Classic as the condenser has been removed. So you get your storage device, in this case an MSFU, place it down there. You want to link it up correctly. So I want a wrench, I think it is in this case. Get rid of this. There you go. That's the way of getting it back. So let's get rid of that and get rid of that. Okay, so that should go fine there. This will make it wireless, this is why I like it. Do you see that will gain power from the furnaces? And since we're getting a decent amount of coal, let me turn down the pul pulses, let's turn up the pulses quite quickly in fact. Just slow it down quite a bit, otherwise we will lose out power. That's going quite slowly actually. That's hopefully a more... That's a better speed, actually. Hopefully it will give us time to gain a bit more coal. Fingers crossed. Okay, so when you're getting power from there, first of all, so you've got this set up so far with the collector, the relays, and the glowstone. With the condenser, with that working. With that. So then you're getting power to, from there to into there to the power storage. So then you put your energy link on the surface, you put the core, then you put the projector. So then what you do is you go to the generator core and you put the frequency card, you put the blank MSF, the, the blank card in there and it will become a frequency card. And I'll show you what you do with that in a minute. Let me just put on the rest of the stuff I need. This is basically the final couple of stages. You put down a block of any type of thing and put a bit of glowstone pointing into the core. Simple enough. You put the latch down so then that will light up. Then you put the frequency transmitter facing in. Then let's just put this up for an example on one. You can put it on any frequency you like. Then you look away from there. You, sh you crouch down and right click. So then bring up the wireless remote with the wireless remote in hand and put it on the same frequency. Then we press it and it will switch to toggle latch, turning off the force field. Put it back in and it will carry on. Then the card, this is the final step. The card just goes in the top one in that little stop there. And there is your force field. Then turn it off, press it on the remote, and the more power you have coming in, the higher it can go, and you can change your shape 
quite easily. Like so. So, I could show you some other stuff. But, now let's see. There we go. That is quite a decent size. You want it being all in, really. You want everything being in all your machines and stuff. All the circuitry being inside the force field. Here's something cool, though. You can add add-ons to your force field. For instance, if I just type in force field, there's the cores, the Zaffer upgrade. That's cool. That's probably the only one I know how to use, I think. Yes. So, if you want that working... Did I leave enough space? I don't think I did. Like a Muppet. Let's see if this will work. Let's hope this gives it power. I hope this can give it power anyway. Doesn't matter if it joins up. Yeah, that's still getting power. That's cool. So then you put the Zaffer upgrade right there. And it will go yellow. That's cool. Let me set time so you can see it properly. So instead of being blue now, it will be red. It will drain a lot more power. But, as you can see, all of these are... So, oops, did not want that sand. So that's still producing. And now, if I walk into it... I will... Start taking damage. Quite a bit of damage. That's the Zappa upgrade for the force field. But if I take it down using... A pickaxe... I'm going to just grab red matter because it's pretty awesome. You can dig that bit down. So without the Zaffir upgrade, it is blue. And that is just a simple force field. Where you can't break it, you can't get through it. And to turn it with the Zaffir upgrade, you put it there. And it will turn red. That's when it does damage. Pretty simple. There we go, like I said, infinite power source pretty much. And it's quite good. Let's see if I can find let's see if I can get the other one working, shall I? Let's see if I go force field again. And I want, for instance, the demo grade. I'm not sure where this really goes. Let's put it there, for instance. Let's see what this does. Then if I put it in here, maybe? Sphere cube. Let's see if I can find somewhere for it to go. If I might click on here, maybe? Nothing. I do not know how I work this one, really. Does it make it... What the heck? Oh, it makes it a dome. Right, that's what it does. So it changes the shape. Okay. So basically it makes it... flatter, pretty much. So, let's see if this works. Ow, that takes damage. So, as you can see, it's not that useful unless, you know, probably more useful if you know how to use that one. But this is basically what I like, pretty much. I just like the Zapper upgrade, but let me show you without again. Without is just a basic force field, pretty much. Just experimenting there with the Dome upgrade. Didn't like it. That's fine, just personal preference. So again, without Zapper upgrade, it's indestructible, it fills in any blocks that should be filled in by the force field so there's no way out and there's no way in then if I can I put the zapper upgrade in as well no but I think I can but I have to turn up reboot the force field and there's the zapper upgrade yeah so force field is one of my favourite parts of tech at light just because you can use it to protect your house I think there's also a way of setting this up if I'm right to a separate wireless, maybe? Let's try it. It's always worth an experiment, I think. This is just me experimenting for a bit now, really. So, I need another... Why... Less... Receiver and remote. Put this on number two, maybe. Okay, so it comes up with... In my inventory one is that. Then if I put this on two, normally you would hide these away if you're using it, so then people can't hack the frequency. Yeah. So if I turn that on, then hit that. Does it turn it off? No. So that doesn't work. It's worth a shot though. But let me just get rid of all of this. Just just ignore that last little bit. That was just me experimenting really. 
So there must be a way of turning it off and on without destroying it. Uh, I haven't figured it out, but destroying it would also work since it just comes back with a simple pickaxe. Let me replace the MFF seal. That's one thing that doesn't come back with pickaxe, unfortunately. Just remember, some things can't come back without a pickaxe. There you go, so that should be gain power. Then, off, on, off, on, off, on. Now if I put the zapper upgrade into the core, and then I turn it off and on. This will can kill someone quite rapidly. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my first tech kit tutorial on force fields. Bye!